Hello, my name is Ken Crawford and I am running to be the next mayor of Norwood. On Tuesday, November 3rd, please help me bring bold, modern leadership back to Norwood by voting Ken Crawford for mayor. Earlier this year, I sat down for an extended interview about my campaign and I'm excited to share it with the community. Thank you. I really believe in Norwood and I really want to make a difference. I am running to be uh, the next mayor of Norwood. My name is uh, Ken Crawford and I'm a proud uh, citizen of Norwood. I've lived here my whole life and I, I just love our city and I think we're going to do tremendous things. But I think it's very uh, achievable to make some real solid improvements that everyone's going to see. As we discuss uh, police and fire and the role of the mayor and how we're going to work together as an administration, I think what we're talking about is kind of the fundamental principles of management. I think it's very important to recognize that I believe in data-driven management. You know, I am not a believer in uh, doing things the way that they have been because as is customary or according to just kind of old social mores that may or may not be outdated. I think it's very important to act on real solid data. We definitely need to make sure we're doing a good job keeping our police officers safe, that they have the right equipment. I think our fire department definitely needs, you know, additional funding for equipment. But when we start talking about uh, how we're going to structure those departments and how they're going to operate, we have to, again, have data-driven decisions. So the first thing that I would be doing would be auditing you know, every city department, including police and fire. We're gonna look at fiscal operation. We're gonna look at physical operation. We're gonna see if we're efficient. We're gonna see where we're lacking. We're gonna see where we're not. And then once we kind of have those decisions there, that's the conversation we'll then have with the bargaining units. Well, there's no secret that a lot of local governments have, been, uh, have had tough times, especially during the recession period. You know, our, our income tax revenues declined, and in addition to that, the state uh, and, the, you know, the governor, they reduced the uh, local government funds that um, the municipalities received, and that has cost us, you know, basically about a million and a half, two million dollars a year. Now, that's pretty significant, and I think it's definitely had an impact on public safety. When you look at problems like heroin, substance abuse issues, you, you know, crime in general, just your regular people don't just wake up and become criminals. I think most of the time, and I think research typically suggests that uh, while some crime is certainly uh, a part of, a, maybe a character of the uh, person who does it, other times it's, it's distress. And you've got families and communities that are under stress. So when we talk about public safety and trying to make an improvement in Norwood, my approach would be to, with the utilization of our health department, to when we have drug-related service calls, we would dispatch the health department to offer them some resources where they can potentially receive uh, you, you know, counseling or other services independent of whatever criminal uh, justice situation may be unfolding. You know, I would instruct the police to enforce any and all laws to the fullest extent of them to the best of their professional ability, while I'd also just offer to try and uh, make a difference and try to find some treatment. I really believe in Norwood and I really want to make a difference. I really believe in Norwood and I really want to make a difference. I am running to be uh, the next mayor of Norwood. My name is uh, Ken Crawford and I'm a proud uh, citizen of Norwood. I've lived here my whole life and I, I just love our city and I think we're going to do tremendous things. But I think it's very uh, achievable to make some real solid improvements that everyone's going to see. The building department is uh, critical to Norwood. When you're talking about economic development and how you're going to drive development in depth and how we're going to raise property values and how we're going to build wealth in our community, if we don't have the right codes and we don't have the right code enforcement, it's very difficult to implement kind of a multi-tier development strategy. And the building department is a key component of that. Well, I think all of Norwood knows the building department needs some help. And I, and I don't say that to uh, denigrate the work of the people in the building department. I've stated this uh, very publicly and, and um, I'm unapologetic. The building department is going to be the uh, first department that's going to get a very serious reorganization. I feel it's very strongly needed. I think if we start um, again with kind of a multifaceted plan where we have you know all of our government agencies working together, 
such as we start seeing greater code enforcement, greater um, making sure homes and uh, buildings are uh, up to speed as far as exterior property codes. But I think it's very uh, achievable to make some real solid improvements that everyone's going to see. I really believe in Norwood and I really want to make a difference. I really believe in Norwood and I really want to make a difference. I am running to be uh, the next mayor of Norwood. My name is uh, Ken Crawford and I'm a proud uh, citizen of Norwood. I've lived here my whole life and I, I just love our city and I think we're going to do tremendous things. But I think it's very uh, achievable to make some real solid improvements that everyone's going to see. One of the most critical functions of the Norwood city government that is basically mismanaged is how we approach economic development. Economic development is not having a meetings with a few developers and offering some tax incentives. Economic development is about measurable public objectives with your community that we can then measure and have an approach to how we did this so we can improve results. Yes, we appreciate retail space. Yes, we appreciate office space. They're absolutely critical and, and you know our residents utilize them. But ultimately, we're developing Norwood to improve the lives and the, and the um, services that we offer to our residents. I cannot uh, think of a single better way to drive wealth and generate wealth in a community than improve property and raise property values. We have fantastic real estate. It has never really been marketed well though, has it? When have any of us seen a real cogent, clear marketing plan in any way, shape, or form publicly? So when we start talking about development, what I want to drive is what I call development in depth. So one of the things that you'll see a very uh, quick improvement in under you know, my administration will be how the city markets itself. You know, I think the city webpage is a great example of that. It, it's just unprofessional and it's not well done. Well, I think that any central um, component of a real good marketing strategy is going to have a very uh, well done web presence. And one approach that I would take as part of a larger marketing, marketing strategy, marketing package and how I'd present Norwood to uh, potential residents and developers, frankly, is we would get that under control in a kind of one centralized professional website. So one of the things that I'll be talking about a lot, and you'll hear me talk about a lot when we have organizational meetings and how I discuss things with the public, is the idea of that kind of overarching plan. That we all kind of have a measurable objective, we all have components of it that we, or our progress and how we approach them can be measured and we're all kind of moving in the same direction. You know, I'm a teacher. Uh, the way that I was, uh, you know, trained, uh, data-driven analysis, uh, you know, measurable benchmarks, things that are clearly understandable are what's valued. So when I approach uh, managing the city, there's going to be some very clear and broad instructions and there's going to be some benchmarking. We're going to be having real measurable objectives. You know, I think one of the things that people talk about when they get frustrated with the government is lack of accountability. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to instruct folks how it should be done and we're going to be measuring that. Because when we have the privilege of serving and holding public office, we have the duty and honor to represent our residents well and to spend the taxes that they provide us wisely. I really believe in Norwood and I really want to make a difference. Hi, my name is Ken Crawford. I'm running for mayor and I'm endorsed by the Republican Party. One thing that I'm pretty passionate about with campaigning is, is going door to door. I could tell you I knock on more doors in Norwood than anybody does and I enjoy every bit of it. You don't really learn what your city is unless you're there and you're in the middle of it. I think it's pretty important that whoever's going to represent the city needs to represent all aspects of the city. You know, you've got to be engaged in the parks, you, you, you know, you just can't be retired and, and, uh, and staying at home and not going out and doing these things. You've got to have kids in the schools, or if not in the schools, or at least involved in the school activities. You've got to have kids that are involved in recreation, and you've got to be involved in recreation, and you've got to walk the neighborhoods. I am an alumnus of Norwood High School. I went to Norwood Schools K-12. My wife went to Norwood Schools K-12. 
We have three boys in the public school district here. I believe very much in the Norwood schools. I think they're doing a tremendous job and they've come a long way. I know that I can have a better working relationship with the board and the superintendent and we can get some real deep uh, policies here that are gonna benefit everybody. One thing that I can do that I'm pretty sure that the current administration doesn't do is I'm a lot more accessible. I'll hold more regular meetings. My uh, lines of communication will be easier to get through. And you can also plan on seeing regular board meetings and community meetings where we discuss these kinds of things. And so as we continue to drive development in Norwood, which is uh, necessary, you know, we need to make sure we do it responsibly. And we do it in a way that includes the community and it isn't threatening. I think anybody who's familiar with the uh, personnel and staffing practices in Norwood is gonna recognize that we're not operating in our human resources you know, environment. No one's really tracking credentials and making sure that we have people that are qualified. No one's tracking to make sure that licensure is upkept. Well, my approach would be to bring in a human resources professional and then to move the hiring practice towards a very updated job, job descriptions with the updated licensures and to make sure that we bring in qualified people for specific personal, um, for specific positions. Well, it's been the practice of every other mayor prior to this one to take uh, part in the budgeting process. You know, the mayor is responsible for probably 85-88% of the city's uh, finances, you know, managing that money, being the uh, steward of the public trust in that respect. And the, um, if you're going to do that right, you've got to have a plan of how you're going to get there. And the current administration doesn't really have that kind of a plan. So what you have is your department heads are have to be a little political to secure funding, or you've got a lot of unclear uh, financial instructions, so you've got people kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. My approach would be to participate in that budget process to put forth a plan for what I think we're going to need to get the job done in Norwood and then work with council and the auditor all the way through. I think it's important to know where you want to be in order to get there and if we kind of lay these instructions out on the front end for our department heads, they're going to have an easier time managing and implementing policy. Hi, my name is Ken Crawford. I'm running for mayor and I'm endorsed by the Republican Party. I'd like to thank you for watching and listening to my ideas on how we can get Norwood back on track. I feel I can be your new voice for a better Norwood. Please help me revitalize our community and vote Ken Crawford for mayor on November 3rd. Thank you.